Oh my god, ladies and gents, it is over. Fujimoto just spat his last bar, dropped the mic and walked the fuck off stage, closing part one of Chainsaw Man. 97 chapters of absolute savagery, stomach entrails and just insane bitches. I tell you what, it has been a wild ride reading Chainsaw Man. Before we go any further, if you're new to the channel, please click that like and subscribe button down below, give that notification bell a slap and let's get straight back into the video. Now, how sudden was the news of Chainsaw Man ending? I don't know about you, but I did not see it coming. Now, it's very likely that it might have been announced at an earlier point and I just missed it because that sounds very much like me. But even so, when I heard the news, I was freaking out. It seemed entirely too soon to me. I swear down, I was ready to grab my pitchfork and fucking riot. Luckily, it was quickly confirmed that Chainsaw Man is simply ending its first part, dubbed the public safety arc and the manga will be continuing in Jump Plus. I'm extremely happy to hear that it's going to be continuing. And not only that, but we also got confirmation that an anime series has been picked up for production by none other than MAPPA. Unless you've been living under a rock, MAPPA have been fucking carrying the anime industry lately, with a plethora of big titles under their belt. Their signature animation style is well suited for action-heavy titles, proven by the beautifully animated scenes in most recent shows like God of High School, Jujutsu Kaisen, and now Attack on Titan. My only concern is with staff workload. It couldn't have been easy producing so many shows, and I do worry about their health going into 2021. That being said, a quick search for MAPPA's upcoming lineup shows that they only have one show slated for release in 2021, and now with the announcement of Chainsaw Man, that's only one other show slotted for production. This is considerably less than what they had in 2019 and 2020, so maybe I'm worrying over nothing, but we shall see. Chapter 97. Chapter 97. Part 1 closes by opening a lot of doors for Chainsaw Man's continuation. Denji went full Hannibal and straight up ate that crazy bitch. It shows how much he loved her because he did it with such style and grace. I was fully expecting him to just wolf her down like a starving orphan, but no. He chops her up and then cooks her into various meals like he's fucking Gordon Ramsay. Also, quick side note, when did he get so good at cooking? This looks like a decent banquet and the last time I checked he couldn't cook for shit. Anyways, gobbling up Makima means she can no longer regenerate, effectively resolving the manga's first part, again the public safety arc. Shit is never simple though is it? Kishibe meets up with Denji to confirm Makima's death, whilst also towing behind him a young girl called Nayuta. It seems that Nayuta is basically a reincarnation of the control devil, and Kishibe doesn't want her to fall into the hands of the government, fearing that if they do get their hands on her, they'll raise her to end up just like Makima did. Instead, Kishibe leaves her in Denji's hands, forcing him to take her in. Now, if you check out the previous video I made on my experiences reading Chainsaw Man, I'll link that up here and in the description. In that video, I talk briefly about how much emphasis is put on the building of unconventional relationships, and how pivotal that concept is to the overall story in Chainsaw Man. Well, towards the end of the chapter, going off the conversation that Pochita has with Denji, Pochita? Po Pochita? Pochita? Pochita! It's likely that Fujimoto won't be changing that anytime soon. Pochita wants Denji to grant the Control Devil's wish and give her a true relationship. It's the Control Devil's dream to have something like a true family that isn't governed by fear. You know what? In the end, I was pretty satisfied with the conclusion of Chainsaw Man. At first I thought it came entirely too soon and part of me still slightly feels that way. I originally felt that the arc could have gone on for much longer as we discovered more about the influence the Chainsaw Devil had on everything in hell. But in the end, I felt like everything was resolved good enough. In my previous video, again, the link will be in the description, I mentioned how I felt that Power was essentially a comic relief character and she didn't really do much. Well, her contribution to the final showdown has definitely changed my mind a bit. Without what she did, all would have been lost and that's a fucking redemption in my eyes. I definitely want to see her return in part two because there's a lot that can be done there if Fujimoto decides to follow up, which I'm sure he will. One of the things I loved most about the conclusion to this first part was how much growth Denji had to go through in order to break free from the absolute obedience and you know experiencing the loss of all of those he holds dear definitely forced him to change. In the end he was able to make personal decisions that went against every fibre of his being. Although looking at it another way, he was only able to make those decisions because he'd convinced himself that eating Makima was an act of love and his decision had no malice behind it whatsoever. Now if you want my personal opinion, and of course you don't because it's the fucking internet but I'm going to tell you anyway, his obsession with Makima still baffles me. I can understand having strong feelings for her and with everything he's been through I can even understand the emotional connection they have. But if I'm going to look at it that way, there are a number of other characters who fit the bill too. All of his other love interests throughout the series offer a similarly strong connection to Denji, so I can't 100% buy into the infatuation that he has with Makima. But what the hell do I know? They say love is blind, right? Just ask my wife. <laughs> 
So, that's going to be about it for this video. Let me know what you thought about Chainsaw Man Part 1's ending. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are you excited for the anime adaption as much as I am? Let me know your thoughts, I want to hear them. Alright, that's it then, I'm off. Please subscribe if you want to see more of me chatting Bear Breeze about anime or manga or something. Laters.